هنا لندن. After 85 years broadcasting to the Arab world, a last goodbye from the BBC's Arabic radio service. Newsreader Mahmoud Al Mosalami has been the station's signature voice for 30 years. Fittingly, he read the final bulletin. هنا لندن, BBC. Cost cutting has led to nearly 400 job losses at the BBC's World Service and the number of foreign language radio channels being brought to a close. El Mosalami, fresh from that final broadcast, is full of memories from his time at the service and before that, his time as a listener in Cairo. The old people used to go in the room and close it because they are not allowed and put their ears and they suffer to listen, the only voice different from the official voice. You lost 85 years of being on air. You lost millions of listeners. You lost this credibility. You lost very strong soft power. It was in 1938, when the BBC itself was only 16 years old, that Arabic became its first foreign language service. Saudi, Yemeni, Iraqi and Egyptian dignitaries were invited for the occasion. Its popularity grew fast, famous voices bringing news of era-defining events in a form unmediated, uncensored by the audience's rulers. One former staffer I spoke to this week called the decision to end the service a gift to dictators. The radio service ends with nearly five million listeners a week, some of them particularly devoted. Abdullah Abdel Rahman says without it, there's no point in keeping his radio. If they end the broadcast, they've ended our lives. This station has become an addiction to us. The news and the London broadcast are all we know. We're old. I'm 80 years old. I've been listening to it for more than 30 years. The broadcaster says it's part of a digital first strategy. Arabic language audio programs and podcasts will still be found on its website and the TV service will continue as before. So the legacy itself will not be lost. It's there. The bulk of it there, and uh, it, it will be um, hopefully accessible to all those listeners who have been connected and affiliated and loved the service uh, by the BBC Arabic Radio. Pressures on the BBC's finances have been mounting, requiring ever harder choices. But for many, inside and outside the organisation, this has been a sad day. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, London.